Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy, weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Good afternoon, Utah. I hope that you're having a terrific Tuesday. So far this season, it has been terrific for our resorts. I mean, we're just in record territory all over the all over the place. Brighton 770 when they normally average 500 inches, 764 at Alta, 705 at Solitude when they also average around 500 inches. Snowbird at 705, Park City at 546, Deer Valley at 540. Both of those will be making a run for 550 over the next several days. Snow Basin record snowfall at 506, Powder Mountain closing in on 500 Sundance at 447 well above their average Beaver Mountain at 423 Brian Head at 377 Eagle Point at 361 so all of uh, all of our Utah resorts are over 350 inches for the season and when you talk about the snowpack that we see across the state it's no surprise to see such healthy numbers and record numbers at that. So last week we were talking about how we tied the 1983 record. We have continued to see the snow water equivalent go up. The snow water equivalent is how much snow you would have or how much water you would have if you were to melt down all of the snow. As of the most recent update, now 27 inches a full inch above 1983 and we only peaked at 12 inches last year completely polar opposites and a much stronger winter season and we have a lot of water stored up in the mountains today we're getting a little bit of a break but we do have more on the way you can see an upper level low pressure off the california and oregon coast this is currently working into california and by tomorrow it's going to be moving into our neighborhood it's also going to be tapping into the atmospheric river so we'll be looking at healthy moisture, especially between our Wednesday and Thursday. And for tomorrow, we're mainly going to be seeing valley rain and mountain snow. We'll time that out in just a moment, but wanted to show you an absolutely beautiful view from Zion National Park. If you're heading to any of the Mighty Five today, you're going to like what you see, especially with temperatures that will feel a little bit more normal compared to what we have seen recently. And then the view from BYU and Provo looking towards Timpanogos got some high cirrus clouds creating a pretty picture. We're sitting at 25 degrees in Logan, 24 in Park City, so still, still very chilly in these spots, but we're already in the upper 40s in Salt Lake, 42 in Provo, and 56 degrees in St. George. And our daytime highs today will be within shouting distance of where we should be for this time of year. Generally upper 40s low 50s for the Wasatch Front. Daytime highs near 40 degrees in both Cache Valley and the Wasatch Back. And we'll see more 40s and 50s down south as St. George climbs into the middle 60s at 66, which means if you have a good girl like Bella right here, you're going to need to make sure you take her for a walk, especially if you were in Davis and Weber County yesterday where you were socked in with snow. Now you'll be able to take your dog for a walk, especially like that cutie Bella there. We'll see that temperature climb into the low 50s this afternoon. And then even as we go into tonight, it'll be turning chilly, but it won't get quite as quite as cold as quickly as we'll see that southerly flow. Keep those temperatures relatively mild and those clouds will begin to increase as our storm system approaches. So let's go ahead and begin the future cast at five o'clock this evening. High pressure moving out of the way to the east and by tomorrow morning, that cold front will be knocking on our doorstep and by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening the chance for wet weather will increase across the board we'll see some windy conditions ahead of and behind the front especially along and west of i-15 where a wind advisory will actually be going into effect that cold front moves from west to east by thursday morning likely going to be moving into southeastern utah but as we get some wraparound moisture the chance for scattered showers will continue through our thursday and with colder air moving in there's going to be the chance that we could see valley rain as well as valley snow in spots so that potential will at least exist but for our mountains we're expecting another healthy dose of snow where we could see several inches plus but now that the high res forecast models are able to see this we'll be able to fine tune those snow totals as, as we continue to get closer as for st george we get middle 60s for today and tomorrow but the chance for rain will be increasing and then we'll keep the chance for rain showers on thursday highs dropping to the low 50s but then we get dry conditions into this weekend should be near 70 degrees on sunday before another storm could arrive early next week then along the Wasatch Front, breezy with low 50s today, mid 50s for our Wednesday, but the chance for rain showers will be increasing, going to be windy. The chance for rain and snow showers on Thursday, maybe some lingering snow showers early on Friday, dry on Saturday before another storm system could arrive by the end of the weekend into early next week. Jillian.